alcohol. So D, this is what we have to do. <laughs> but yeah, it feels like each time you play here, you get like even more beautiful and younger <laughs> looking and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but I think the most important thing is to really maintain a routine. I think uh, the body, uh, as, as older I get, I learned that they... The body is like a machine. They like a routine. Yeah. So as you give your body a routine, it's amazing how positive the body answers Interesting, you. yeah. yeah. You I have know? a very rigid routine. It's uh, caffeine, alcohol, <laughs> and marijuana. Oh, wow. Well, it sounds familiar. You know, yeah. yeah, I just stick to it, and it, it works so far. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, you cannot live without anyone. I agree. <laughs> really? Oh, See, I need to. Do, I need to start that. I have never. No, I'm totally pro. I, I, I'm a pothead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In a podcast. <laughs> do you know? Yeah. <laughs> a pod. A podhead. A podcast. See, that's that's why you, our next one is pod, yeah, podcast. Yeah, every time mm-hmm. I do a podcast, I think about pothead. Oh, Everyone, he, all of my friends have their like medical card out here. Oh, or whatever I do have to. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. So that's another traveling thing I'm sure is that people have that but anyway just to, to, to say next. something important that yeah. I think it's important you know in 2014 I was living in LA recording my album that's when I got the license and uh, I just fell in love even more with the west coast because the fact that I came here in January and the weather was so amazing mm-hmm. and then I just also had a very rigid you know recording um, schedule so I'll have to Literally leave, I was in the West Hollywood, leave West Hollywood to drive all the way to Riga Rock, and it would take like an hour, 40 minutes, then get there, start recording, then stop, take a little break, eat, then go until late. And then when I come back, I was like always anxious because I wanted to hear, because next day I had to start all over again, and we didn't really have the time to like just take a lesson, maybe have a glass of wine, whatever, but so... The nights, I had a fireplace. So I'll sit in the fireplace, have my phones on. <laughs> I would be like making notes of everything that I wanted to do for the next day. And then people always ask me, because when I did interviews about this recordings of Tudo, which means everything in uh-huh. English, uh, I said it was a, one of the most intense works I ever done in my life, especially to, talking about recording. And it's true because of the fact that I, I work so hard. Yeah. yeah. But it was worth it. We did the album in about three months. And the fourth, we were already mastering. So it was really, really beautiful.